Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So I want to continue on sort of a series, I guess I've started here on this channel of, well, made in the USA products. This is a Craftsman 3200 PSI pressure washer. I'll link in the description down below. Uh, this was a pickup from Lowe's. Uh, it was $449. This kind of continues on also some Craftsman products that I bought. The toolbox uh, towering behind me. Uh, was also a Craftsman uh, pickup from, from Lowe's. So not sponsored. I went out and bought these uh, full price. Without further ado, let's go ahead and put this thing together. Now this is a 190cc uh, Honda engine. And uh, they do provide this motor oil, which is unmarked. I'm not too sure if this is synthetic or not. I'm guessing it's probably not. What I did do was I went out and picked up just some 10W30 full synthetic motor oil. These things actually ship with oil in them for the uh, purposes of testing. So as you can see, there's actually quite a bit of oil in this thing for something that only takes about a half a quart. So now we will go ahead and hook up our hoses. Then we'll take our wand, thread on our extension, and there we have our hose. So we will go ahead and pop a little gas in here. Make sure there's no kinks in the hose line so we're not running that pump dry. Run water through till the air is out. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Pretty, pretty ridiculous. So we'll add some car washing detergent. This is just stuff that I picked up from Lowe's. Go ahead and fire it back up. Use our soap nozzle. Okay, so it has now been a week since I've had this pressure washer. The footage you just watched that I just jumped from was last weekend. So I actually had this pressure washer out yesterday. I wanted to put some hours on it because anytime you do a review of something, it's nice to have a little bit more uh, experience with that product. So I do wanna address the fact that pressure washers can be dangerous. Yesterday, I actually had to spend a little time over at Immediate Care and uh, get a tetanus shot because uh, I was actually in the backyard spraying off some of uh, actually my daughter's pool toys. And uh, in the process, I was holding something and just kind of once across my arm, nothing super serious. I did have to get a tetanus shot. It totally sucked. And uh, this arm is a little bit sore because of it. So with that being said, always uh, safety with pressure washers. As I'm sitting out here, gonna start doing it again in flip-flops. So I'm kind of a pressure washer squid, I guess you'd say. Uh, but I'm going to use this K Archer uh, surface cleaner, which this was not new. I actually bought it um, off Amazon warehouse. Basically things that people returned to Amazon that potentially could be broken. Uh, products like this that are not super complex, I don't mind doing that with. Main reason why I bought this pressure washer, this garage floor. This is a DIY epoxy floor, and uh, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. So 
With that being said, let's just go ahead, get this whole thing hooked up, start ripping some pressure washing here and see, well, what I can do with this garage floor. So let's just get to it. All right guys, so to wrap up this review here on this uh, 3200 PSI Craftsman uh, pressure washer, it's a solid unit. I've got a few hours of, of run time on it now. I've got nothing uh, nothing bad to say about it at all. I also just noticed that the manufacturer date is 6-24-2020, which is uh, just about five weeks ago. So it actually has a super new unit. All in, I mean, this thing is, is solid. I had no problems, no mechanical issues. I do like running the synthetic oil in here. Uh, I'm gonna drain the oil out real quick, call that my break-in. And to wrap this video, kind of show you guys uh, what the oil uh, looks like. So let's go ahead and do that now. Still slightly warm, but uh, has cooled off quite a bit. My left arm is in pain still from the tetanus shot yesterday. So lifting this will be fun. Definitely a little bit metally, but it's a small motor. I expected it to look that way. Not great looking oil, but you know, with a small motor, no oil filter. I would expect that slightly. Uh, anybody else who might be a little bit more knowledgeable in motors certainly can drop a comment down below. So if I had to find any critiques on this unit, to be fair, this little coil for the uh, pressure washer hose here is a little bit floppy. I find that it's way easier to coil up the hose if you actually disconnect it from the pressure washer first and uh, coil that up like an extension cord. Uh, and then this is a little bit wonky where the wand hooks up. Sometimes it likes to catch the, uh, the wheel when you're rolling it around. Aside from that, it rolls real nice. This K Archer uh, surface cleaner, it did the trick. The bearings in here are a little bit squeaky. Uh, not sure what that's all about. So if I was gonna be doing any heavier pressure washing, I would probably go with, uh, I'll show it here. I forgot what it was called at Lowe's, a little more expensive. Again, I don't intend on using it all that often. With that being said, guys, um, I would definitely recommend this uh, this pressure washer. After a few hours on it, uh, real strong, never bogged down all that bad, uh, never surging or anything like that. Uh, I also, I would recommend using the pump saver. I do have really, really hard water here. Um, just kind of part of uh, living in Arizona uh, so that it uh, takes care of it, keeps it lubricated for future use. And with that being said, that is my review on the Craftsman 3200 PSI pressure washer. Uh, did a great job. I'm happy with it. So thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I'll see you guys next time.